Hey friends, this is me and Catherine. You know me, I'm Robert. Owie. We're at Daybird Aviaries and we have a little bit of a problem. Yeah. If you've watched our videos, if you've watched our videos, you know that we raise these beautiful Muscovy ducks. And Catherine just absolutely loves them. She plays with them every day. I love this one. This one, this one is the youngest one that has hatched this year and it's mine and it's Catherine's and she loves her to bits and pieces but this little duck has developed a problem called angel wing now miss messy hair don't care has something she wants to tell you about angel wing well angel wing is a type of sort of thing is when the baby ducks are small. If they somebody squeezes them wing, they are developing wings. They develop things. Angel wing. Angel wing. Angel wing is most commonly developed because the baby duck or baby goose has had too much protein in their diet. Did you know that, Catherine? Nope. You can see that the bird's wing is remarkably similar to our own arms with the exact same bones in the exact same places. It's amazing, really. Hey, if this is your first time here at the Daybird Aziaries channel, welcome. We're glad you're here. Take a moment and click that little button to subscribe to our channel. And give us a thumbs up. Go ahead while you're at it and hit that bell for notifications. And be sure to leave us a comment down below. Now you can see all those blood feathers, and that's what those are called. Some people will call them a quill feather, and some people will call them a pin feather, but it is probably most properly called a blood yeah, feather because they do actually have blood inside them. See? What happens is, is when the bird gets too much protein, those feathers develop too quickly. They fill up with blood, and they become heavy, and they cause the tip, uh-oh, they cause the problem. tip of the wing to actually turn outwards. And now if my messy hair don't care assistant can show you, she can actually f very gently fold that wing back under the way it is supposed to be. Lots of fingers there. I'm trying to get it. See, that is a sort of... Above. It. That is sort of how it's supposed to be done. So what has to happen is we have to actually tape the wing tip to the bird's body in the proper position and we use just this waterproof duck bandage tape. tape. I call it duct tape. She calls it duct tape because it's tape that we use on a duck. <laughs> yeah, duct tape. Do you get it? So here's what we're going to do if I move, move out of the way this is Dots okay. she's one of our cats <laughs> we also have Ranger here with us move Dots <laughs> I'm, away, <Ranger. laughs> I'm going to extend the wing out when I extend the wing out it looks fine but when it comes in you can see that that rolls under so what we're going to do is we're going to separate out these feathers growing off of this wing tip we're going to separate them out from the feathers growing off the middle section and we're going to just gently tuck that under like that and it's going to lay up against her body like that so i'm going to use a length of the tape and i'm going to start here mm -hmm. and tuck there. that there. under yep. Good job, Dad. Now that'll hold it still. Like that. That'll hold it in the wide position. Almost. Mm -hmm. But you still need some more. And now I'm going to take again, and I'm going to go under, under the whole entire wing. Hold that in. I'm going to make sure that that is tucked underneath. And I'm going to aim for that portion that's flopping down 
And I'm going to pull the tape Good job, up. Daddy. And I'm going to bring it. Oh, Daddy. I know, it's folded over. It will be okay. I'm going to fold that back over like that. And I'm going to put a couple more layers of this waterproof tape on. Now this you can see her opposite wing and it is just fine. It is not a problem. It's not growing out. It's not an angel wing. It's not flopping. We are going to keep her in a hospital cage and we're going to monitor her closely. We're going to make sure she has plenty of water to drink. But food and water. And the food that we're going to give her is probably going to be a rabbit pellet. Or chicken That is food. a lower protein. Or some kind of Yeah, she needs a lower protein food for right now. We're and going for to, little snacks, you could give them chicken food. Maybe a little bit of chicken food. Maybe just a very little bit. But we're going to give her... We're going to give her some chopped lettuce and some very finely chopped celery. What's his name? Tiger. Tiger? How did he get a name like Tiger? Because when he first got him, he looked like a tiger. Yeah. Now I know that this is hard to see because it is a, it's white tape on top of a white duck. Yep. But we have three layers of tape going all the way around Thank under, you. underneath the, oh look, that is Ranger Kitty. Shelly Kitty. And Tiger scratching a flea. Hello. But look, we have tape going around this way <laughs> under the wing like this. We have tape going around this way under the wing like this. And then we have tape going under this opposite wing, going under her body, holding all of this bandaged up tightly against her and she's not going to be happy about this but like i said we are going to keep her in a hospital cage feed her a lower protein feed give her plenty of water now this this shows a, a good way chicken food. now she Catherine is demonstrating a very good way to hold a young duck especially muscovies with their claws they have very powerful legs mm -hmm. and feet she has both of this duckling's feet gently held here she is supporting the breast yep. the body of the duck with her hand and her arm and the duck's head is tucked very gently under her arm she's holding the wing behind steady against her body of course this is the wing that has the angel wing and is taped up and we don't want to squeeze that too much or it might come loose yeah we, we don't want to squeeze her at all because we don't want to hurt her Oh, kill her. Well, we definitely don't want to do that, do yeah. we? Yeah. And we were very careful with the tape that went all the way around her body that it was not too tight. Right, Catherine? Yeah, I made it a little bit too tight. You not a lot. I loosened it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's how we do angel wing. Now, I am not a veterinarian by any means. Nope. I am not this giving... This first time. Well, it's not my first time. I am not giving medical advice. This is mine. I am giving advice based on my practical experience of over 30 years of raising domestic and exotic birds. I have witnessed uh, hundreds of Muscovies hatch and grow up. Only a few have developed angel wing. Uh, the very first time I ever experienced was with some of the curly feathered Sebastopol geese and every single one of those developed okay. angel wing and look rangers coming yeah the cat the uh, the the uh, duck is is used to the cats hey look at that cat it's climbing uh-huh we're, we're surrounded by cats yep <laughs> but we we successfully bandaged the Sebastopols yep. and and they grew up to be just fine and did not display angel wing yep as adults. You don't remember. You weren't born yet. No. Okay. <laughs> all right, Catherine. Tell all our friends what we tell them. Uh, I forgot. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Meow. 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 Meow.